This is a quick video about Python virtual environments. If you've heard about these but haven't used these, this is the tutorial. For the longest time, I was doing things wrong. I would just pip install or conda install packages into my base Python installation, especially if I was using a cloud environment. Just whatever was given to me, I would just install stuff until it broke and I didn't care. It is such a relief. It's so much easier to have a per project environment. And I was just so lazy, I never bothered to go through and set it up. And within the Python docs, I mean, there's a ton of good options here, but I just want to show you that, you know, this is a great way to get started is the standard option as offered or described in the Python documentation, then virtual, virtual env. Here's, here's our project. Let's set it up. So I've got some code here. It's not really doing anything, but we're going to process some data. I have two dependencies, pandas and scikit-learn. Okay, great. What are we doing? Well, by default, I have a root version of Python. We want to, let me show you that, which is which Python, not Python version which Python, we'll try that one more time. And uh, you can see here, I'm using this version of Python I have inside of Miniconda, story for another day. Uh, but I want to have a version of Python specific for this project. So if I put cayenne pepper or paprika on this one, I don't necessarily want that on, on anything else. Great, let's just keep it isolated, no big deal. So the command to do this is we're going to run python-m, then virtual env coming directly from the docs. And then we will create a directory where we want our environment to be. The convention is to use a hidden directory. So we'll, we'll designate that with a, with a dot, dot env. This is convention. You could make this, you could put this wherever you want. It's up to you. I'll create the directory. And then once, I'm, once I've created it, I need to activate it. And we activate it with source dot env bin for where all the binaries are. And then we're going to run this, this command activate. So every time we want to start this environment or use this environment, we'll navigate to this directory or we'll pass in the path .env bin activate from wherever we are. Once we run activate, we can now pip install whatever we want. So let's see which Python are we using now. And we can see we're using this Python that's right here. So instead of installing to site packages, instead of if I'm, if I'm adding fun spices here and I don't want them on other things, it, it won't happen. Now they're cleanly isolated. So let's just quickly pip install pandas and scikit-learn and we're off to the races. A lot, there's a lot more to bringing good software engineering to ML and other things, which is, which is our interest here at Continual. But it, you know, these basic environments, I know data scientists out there are often not using them. I know when I was doing a lot of this work or building demos and things, it's easy to skip this step, but it's foundational. And this, these two lines, the, these two shell commands, these two Python commands will save you such headache down the road.